much for coming. Uh, I think some people will join us later. Maybe <laughs> transport or the address or whatsoever. Or maybe the football match today. Belgium and, and England uh, are playing. So anyway, I would like first to start to thank each one of you for coming today to this when event. I arrived uh, actually in... Uh, so I did um, a university uh, in computer science and then I went to a, an engineering school. And I was very surprised uh, that there were 80% of, uh, like, no, 90%, over 90% of men. Uh, because uh, I really went to that field being like, okay, it's so cool and uh, I love coding. And I was surprised to be the, the only woman. And at first I felt, mm, I didn't really realize. And uh, the next year, so yeah, this was my first year we were like a pro uh, promotion of, uh, 200 people and there were 50 girls in that promotion. And then the next year we were 10. <laughs> so m m uh, over 50% of girls just left uh, computer science, which is pretty sad. Close your eyes for just a few seconds, trust me. I'm not gonna throw anything at you. <laughs> the microphone, for example. Close your eyes. Think of your happy place where you feel comfortable, at ease. You have to do no efforts and you're happy. Think of the sounds that are there, the colors, maybe the smells. Picture yourself there. Okay, open your eyes. Hi, I'm Marielle. <laughs> this happy place for me is Lebanon. I grew up there. I'm very attached to my roots. And uh, after, after studying there and working a bit, I started traveling around. But I've always had this double, like probably a lot of you do, having those roots in a place and living in another place and being kind of in the middle and loving both. But I've been in love with Lebanon even before leaving it. And what I did is I co-wrote a book with a friend of mine. We were naive enough to think we could write a book. So we did. That was one of the, I think, one of the biggest things you have to do when you're an entrepreneur. Believe that you can do it. Or elsewhere, but especially in the Arab world, you can be a pioneer. For many reasons. First of all, because, unfortunately, for cultural reasons, there are a lot of constraints that women put to themselves, which are sometimes based on fact. I mean, the fact is, less women get funded in, uh, in startup world. Okay, but that doesn't mean we can't change it. Right. So this is a fact, but it doesn't mean that, OK, then I can no, never be an entrepreneur. I'll never be able to do it. A month and a half ago, <laughs> the time clock started, you know, rolling again in here. And I said, OK, um, I build I'm building something new. I need to. You were talking about um, running your baby. So I, I gave birth to a new baby a month and a half ago. And we'll talk about it later. Maybe it's uh, it's called Own Your Cash, and it's a venture which will provide a massive training for ladies and men, but mostly ladies first, uh, to become business angel and to provide them uh, training and support uh, and to give access to capital for women entrepreneurs who are uh, cruelly lacking this access today. As, as, um, as someone growing up between two cultures, you can sh uh, bring uh, things together and you can create links. That uh, things were starting to, to, to happen in terms of social entrepreneurship, but there were still no supporting uh, activities for that. So I had the great opportunity to be supported by a foundation to create one of the first uh, social green tech incubator. So we have building that uh, we have built that in um, in Casablanca, and uh, and it actually went well. It's called yeah Espace Bidaya, and now it, it's supporting lots of uh, entrepreneurs. Um, Don't do it. You, you're you're not an economist, or you never you never did a business school, or you don't know how it works, or oh my God, you want to be, to 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 grow up a brand? It's not possible. And um, and just to speak about the brands and the textile, it's crazy. But only men take that. I mean, like it's a, uh, when you see even like a big um, big brand, it's a lot of the times uh, DA are men's director who. Who, who we create for women's 